Good morning. My name is Overseer Grace Holly, and I want to welcome you to Choose Life this morning. Amen. To God be the glory. I want to thank Pastor Gina Coleman for thinking of me and inviting me to come and to do uh, the devotion for this morning. To God be the glory. I appreciate it. It is a privilege and an honor, and I appreciate the opportunity. I would love for you all, and she would love for you all, to support and to subscribe to Choose Life on today. Amen. Hallelujah. Such a benefit. Receive the benefits of the word of from the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. That you be uh, strengthened. Amen. That you be enlightened. Hallelujah. It's the way to start your day in the morning with the word of God. Amen. What we declare in the morning, it sets our day. Amen. Whatever we say in the morning, it will set our day. Amen. So we would like for you to um, partake of this word with us each morning and, um, and get the benefits. Forget not thy benefits. Amen. To God be the glory. This morning, we are going to um, first of all, we're going to pray. Amen. We're going to pray right now. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, God, we lift your name on high. It's none like you and all the earth, God. And we thank you just for who you are, God. We thank you for this day that we've never seen before, God. And we thank you uh, that we have the activities of our limbs, God, and, and that we're in good health, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank that we can come to you you, God, any day, any time, God, in the name of Jesus. We bow down to you right now, Father, in the name of Jesus, just thanking you for how you keep us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, when I open my mouth, I ask that you fill it, and I would speak the oracles of God, and we would get understanding and apply it to our lives, God. And God, in the name of Jesus, we repent. Anything that we said, done, or thought that's not like you, God, we repent right now. Hallelujah. We repent for anything we said, done, or thought that's not like you. We lift up our enemies to you. We ask you to bless them, and we have no art with no man. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. To God be the glory. We want to clean the slate with God. Um, not just uh, in the morning, but all throughout the day, we ought to uh, repent when we do something wrong, when we know that we had um, something that was out of line, that was borderline. Uh, we ought to repent for that because we know not the day nor the hour. Amen. To God be the glory. So we want to be on the good foot at all times, at all times. Amen. Our topic on today is to run to the Father when we fall. Run to the Father when we fall. I know that I have uh, experience, uh, I work with children, and when they fall, they run to us. They run to us and, and we pet them up and, and we make them feel better and we um, take care of the wound and uh, we just make them feel better. We make a better situation. Um, hallelujah. We take the pain away. Uh, we hug them. We show them love and we let them know that it's okay and that it's going to heal and that it's going to get better with time. To God be the glory. And in the same way, that is what our father does to us. He wants us to run to him. Just like our natural father would want us to run to him when we are in trouble. Um, the Lord thy God would like us to run to him. Amen. Because he's our spiritual father. Amen. He can heal all wounds. He is the Lord that healeth thee. He is the great physician. Amen. Hallelujah. We just love him on today. We just love him on today and knowing that by his stripes we're healed and we're made whole. We can do all things. 
all things through Christ. He heals us. He delivers us. He sets us free. I'm running to the Father. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm running to the Father. Remember, we had PF flyers and, you know, I'm running to the Father. Amen. I'm making a beeline to the Father. Amen. As he loves like no other. He loves like no other. His love is everlasting and he's no respecter of person. And I want to run to the Father. Amen. Run to the Father when you fall. When you stumble, run to the Father. Crawl back if you have to. The enemy wants you to run from, from me when you do or say something that grieves me. So running away will only make it more difficult to rise up in my power and battle against the wrong thoughts, words, and deeds. Run to the Father when you stumble. He is able to make you stand even if you come to him with sin on your hands. Your restoration is as quick as your true repentance. There is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Turn to your Redeemer and let him wash you with the water of his word once again. He wants to do it. He wants to do it. And he says, uh, your restoration is as quick as your true repentance. Amen? Your true repentance. And we know that uh, repentance means to turn around and, and go the other way. Stop what you're doing. Stop and go the other way and, and really stop doing it. Uh, we don't want it to be a revolving door, a revolving door. And sometimes there are strongholds. And so that's when we have to uh, pray and fast because those things come out by praying and fasting, those stubborn things. Um, we know when we have a stronghold and we know when we have to work a little harder in partnership with God in order to be delivered, but we want to, we have to want to do it. Amen. So true repentance, not just, uh, the form of repentance, like the form of godliness, we want to really be serious and have a made up mind about what it is that we want to do and that we want to um, run to the Father, amen, that he can make it all better. To God be the glory. We have some scripture um, to follow up on. Um, we're going to be going into Jude 24, 1 John 1, 9. And Romans 8 and 1. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. Just love him. Amen. Jude 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Amen. The theme for Jude is, is talking about contending for our faith. And um, God is able. There's nothing too hard for God. Amen. He's talking about us going into um, exceeding joy. That's our eternal reward. Amen. He uh, See, when we get into trouble, God, he makes a way of escape for us. He makes a way of escape. But you have to want to be kept. That's the thing about it. If you want to, you can do it. You have to be true to thyself, to thine own self. Be true about the walk, about your walk, your journey. You have to want to be kept. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, keep you from falling, and to present you faultless 
before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. And that's what we want. We have some place to go. I always say that. You always hear me say that, that we have somewhere to go. We want to go to eternity and we want to be presented faultless. We want to uh, be presented that we, um, that good and faithful servant, uh, that we did a job that was well done. Amen. That's how we want to be presented into glory. Hallelujah. We don't want our tape to be too long where he goes back and says, well, you did this and you did that. We don't want that. Amen. In 1 John 1, 9, it declares that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is awesome. To cleanse us from all unrighteousness because when we run to him, amen, when we run to him, uh, he cleans us up. Because we're going to the Father and we're saying, God, listen, I'm having trouble with this. Can you help me? Can you help me to get it right? Can you keep me from unrighteousness? It's my desire to be righteous. And the Lord tells us that we have not because we ask not. He gives us the desires of our heart. So if we go to him and tell him that we're having um, issues with a certain uh, thing, then he will help us. But like I said, be true to thine own self and know what it is that you really want to do. Um, he's faithful to us. Amen. Uh, he's just to us. He'll forgive us of our sins and he'll cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But we just have to um, repent and know that we want to do it for sure and keep trying. We'll just keep trying. We'll keep trying to do it. You know, it doesn't matter how many times we fall. Okay. It does not matter how many times we fall as long as we get back up again. You know, when you fall, run to the father. Anybody familiar with the song? Get back up again, for a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got up. Get back up again, get back up again, amen? It's all right, just get back up again, amen, hallelujah, when you fall, Fall at the altar, hallelujah. Everything that concerns you, cast your cares at his feet. He cares for you. He cares for you. Run to the Father. We're going to go over to Romans 8, 1. Thank you, Jesus. There is therefore... No condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. Got to walk after the spirit. The flesh is weak. The flesh is weak. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. God is, is not, uh, God is a spirit and he doesn't have a body like man. So we got to go to the spirit. Amen. But after the spirit, the spirit of the true and living God, we thank and praise God for his spirit. He is in us and he is for us. 
Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. He is risen. Amen. This is resurrection season and he is risen. Amen. And we were to rise with him to another level in him. Amen. We rebuke unrighteousness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And we thank and praise God that he give us the strength. That he give us the strength to endure. Amen. And then if we fall into temptation, he will give us that way of escape. Run to the father when you fall. Amen. He will pick you up. He will pick you up. He will pick you up with his outstretched arm. He will pick you up. Hallelujah. He will pick you up when you're drowning. Hallelujah. In the sea of sin. Hallelujah. He will pick you up. He will pick you up. Because the devotion said that um, the enemy wants you to run away from me when you do or say something that grieves me. But running away will only make it more difficult to rise up in my power and battle against the wrong thoughts, words, or deeds. So run to the Father when you stumble. He is able to make you stand even if you come to him with sin on your hands. Hallelujah. He washes us white as snow. He's an able God. There's nothing too hard for our God. Hallelujah. My God. I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, who is able, who is an able God. And he wants to do it. He wants to do it. He wants that to be our mindset to come to him, just like we will come to our natural father. Run to the spirit. Amen. Run to the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. We're running for our life. And we need to run to our Father. To God be the glory. Thank you, Lord God. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this prayer um, that says, Thank you for your willingness to forgive me over and over and over again. Help me to always run to you when I sin in thought word, or deed, so that I can receive your forgiveness and realign my heart with yours. Amen. Realign our hearts with his. We have to renew our minds and cleanse our hearts. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We've got to realign our heart with his. Just like we realign our car in the natural, we know that if we do not realign our car in the natural, that it won't go straight down that narrow road. It will rear off to the right and rear off to the left. But once we get it aligned, then we're able to go straight. Straight down the narrow road. Amen. Run to the Father. Hallelujah. Run to the Father on this morning. Go in prayer. Go on your knees. Go to his throne of grace and mercy. Amen. And just tell him what you need. Run to the Father. He wants to do it. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye-bye.